ladies gentlemen welcome back for the third the third video of the sweet standard ikoria early access streamer event sponsored by wizards of the coast we're playing right now we, we just brewed this we just brewed this deck this teamer monstrosity deck uh if you didn't check out the other videos definitely check out blue black flash i think we went 5-1 with that uh black white humans we went 5-1 with that we're doing quite well with the decks we're brewing up today but um this is like my biggest my most questionable deck so far uh, because we're just jamming the cool Godzilla idiots that we want to play. We have four Arboreal Grazer and four Paradise Druid. Both are both ramp us, and both are good to mutate onto as well. Uh, Paradise Druid specifically being good because Great Horn sounds sweet in this. I don't even know what that is. Oh, this thing. Okay, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying, Dealy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um. It's not bad. I don't think it's better than Domri, though, is the problem. Like, Domri is great because we can play it on a late board and just fight something. We can play it on an early board. It ramps us from three to five, which is what we want to do. Five mana, five mana, five mana. Uh, Euro, Paradise Druid, and our Broiler Grazer are all of our ramp our ramp creatures. Uh, Paradise Druid, like I was saying, was great to mutate onto because it has Hexproof while it's untapped. So you can't get blown out here. Uh, our Broiler Grazer, also fine. It's just, a, it's just a little dude that you can put down. It, you can play a second land on turn one with this and then mutate onto this guy with make a 4-4 four four on turn 3 which is pretty sweet or turn 2 rather um, we also have Ghidorah, King of Cosmos uh, whenever this creature mutates exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent, put that card on the battlefield or into your hand so there's quite a few cards uh, that we could hit Godzilla, Kogla, Godzilla being a Ghidorah wandering monster monster, monster uh, Quartz Wood Crasher, which says whenever one or more creatures you control with Trample deal combat damage to a player, make an XX with Trample, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. Uh, and as you can see, Yudaro has uh, Trample. He's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, Quartz Crasher has, is a 6-6 six, six with Trample. This is a 6-6 six, six with Trample. This is a 4-4 four, four with Trample. So quite a few creatures with Trample. And uh, Vivian, amazing. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Plus one makes a 3-3, three, three, and it gets Vigilance, Reach, or Trample. Again, Trample being pretty decent with Quartzwood Crasher. Um, when you cast your next creature spell this turn, search your library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost. Put it onto the battlefield. Seems fine. I mean, so like, we can literally play like 7-drop or 6-drop, and then uh, search our library for one of the two 5-drops, put them into play. Cast one of the 5-drops, search for a 4-drop, or even a Euro, put it into play. Um, all of those are great modes. Co we have one Kogla because it's cool to have a deck with Godzilla and King Kong. However, just having a 7-6 that can fight a creature and destroy artifacts and enchantments, not bad. We're not going to be able to sacrifice humans because I don't think there are any humans in the deck whatsoever. But that's fine. Uh, Godzilla Doom Inevitable, we have, uh, which is just Yadaro. You want to cycle it four times uh, and then put him in, put him into play for free, basically. It's also just a 7-7 with Trample and an 8-8 with Trample and Haste that you can just cast for 7. And uh, Genesis Ultimatum, 7 mana, look at the top 5, put any number of permanents onto the battlefield, the rest into your hand. And that's it. We have 26 lands as well, obviously, because we have big guys. We want to put extra lands into play with Euro and Arboreal Grazer. Our lands are basically 12 shock lands, one of each temple. So 5 of each basic dual land. Uh, 4 tri lands, so that's 19 and then three, four, five, six, seven basic lands. So, I mean, yeah, I'm unsure of this deck, but it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a good ass time. I'm gonna put this ultimatum here because that's like, I would love to put this there, and it, and it shows up at first, but then it just turns into the normal one. Teamer monsters. That's what we're gonna call this this deck of nightmares. I will definitely keep this hand. Teamer Thunder Lizards. Oh god, don't cycle it. 
Not like we could have anyway. I accidentally click cycle and it's like, oh, nothing's gonna happen, dude. Oh, what is this, Umori the Collector? That's interesting. Oh, what up, baby Godzilla? I'll take one from Baby Godzilla here. Uh, you're not splashing green just for night pack because it's double green, so you're messing up the entire mana base. I went 5-1 with a blue-black flash deck, and it didn't need green at all. It's just an extremely greedy splash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then next turn we can actually... Yeah, this is pretty nice. Uh, play you. Play Steam Vents. And then next turn we can go Ape. Fight something. Or we can just play Ghidorah next turn. Oh no. I actually don't even know what's happening right now. Oh, they discarded this. Sure. Dirge bat, right? Um, We're gonna have to kill this because otherwise they mutate onto it. This mutate cost is two. That's absolutely insane, dude. Yep, that's pretty fucking good. I don't even know what's happening right now. These are so confusing to keep track of, dude. I don't know what any of these are. Like... This is so confusing. I'm like, wait, is this a 3 3? I have no idea what abilities this has. Thank you. That's so wild, dude. Elk Tears, thank you so much for the, the gifted sub, my dude. Really appreciate it, man. Yeah, this seems fine. We might want to add, like, Storm's, Storm's Wrath. Is that what it's called? The problem is it just it does kill our 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 baby boys.
Oh, what a hunted witness. I guess we're just gonna play Paradise Druid here instead of the alternative. And they draw a card. Mm, no blocks. Go temple. We can play the other one next turn. Bottom that guy. It's a double red. We got that. Um, no attacks. <coughs> Four, five, six. This is another deck that where I just feel like we're Yeah, I think we just want Storm's Wrath. Like, is there a card that actually like wipes the board? Uh exiles the creatures? Is there a is there a sweeper that exiles? Cry does. That doesn't help at all. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It only matters for, like, Midnight Reaper, which I'm not, like, super concerned with, but... Mark, the problem with doing that is, like, what are we what are we mutating onto at that point? Like, we have, like, four mutate creatures. I don't know what we're mutating onto. It's a different type of cat. If you want to lose a life, you gain a life, sure. Um, I feel like our I feel like cycling this is obviously one of our few options here. Mono red fires with Perforos and for Yudara. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a real easy request. Yeah, I'll just uh I'll make the whole deck. We have no incentive not to attack here, right? Yeah, this is fine. 
Everyone's getting in. Everyone's getting in the red zone here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, block you. Block you. One, two, three, four, five. Every, so everyone dies. Sure. It's not in token, right? So they draw two, I guess. I guess we found the board wipe. I mean, we're at 14 now. I don't know, like... That doesn't seem terrible. We also have a Godzilla in hand that we can just cast. That's not the hero we wanted. How many cards do we have in the graveyard? Just two right now, huh? Do we cycle this guy instead? I actually don't know. I'm mean, putting an 80 on the board. Actually, seems just fine here, right? It's actually pronounced Gojira. Let's not be racist. <laughs> you know, that's funny. See, that's funny. With you. Not by a long shot. Oh, we did miss a drop. It's true. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, man, we'd have it too if we didn't miss the land drop. That makes me so sad, dude. Oh, no, wait, we still have it, right? Red, red, green. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nothing like a bit of violence Thank you. Uh, so we got red, red, green. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explain a lot, actually. Okay, you gotta block us something else though. And then we still get like a 7,000, 7,000 dude. Okay, that's fine. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, we're doing it. All right, so this is 15 points of Trample. They have three Bastion of Remembrances in play. Wow, that's insane. 
I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Why don't they just... Wait, aren't we just dead on the board? What the fuck? Why aren't they just playing? Why aren't they just... I mean, if they don't, if they don't see it, then they'll let us go to 16. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, Kerwin with one Japanese dollar that I don't even understand. All right, well, we're going to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Oh, uh, they dab for trample, but they could literally... This sacks another creature. They sack all five of these to deal 15. So I have no idea why we're still alive. Um, but like, ugh, God. Um, actually, might as well do it on the on the euro here. So now they have to sacrifice if they want to. It does it doesn't only really trigger on humans, right? Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. No, it's they they literally had lethal on board. Yeah, this is wild. Yeah, that, that was not our game to win. Yeah, about the land, I didn't mean to put it into play. I just meant to drag it, and uh, apparently it's a click, not a drag. It's I've gone over this before. It puts it into play whenever you touch it. All right, let's see what we can fix here. Um... Like, maybe we just care less about the mutating, and we just put in, like... I do like Storm's Wrath, but, like, it does kill our Vivian. What does Lucka even do? I don't even know what that Planeswalker does, dude. No cards match that. All right. Uh, not collected. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, XL the top three cards of your library. Creature cards exile this way. You may cast this card from exile. Sure, that's fine. Exile a creature. You control real cards in the top of your library to a real creature with a higher amount of mana cost. Put that on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom. Each creature deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. I mean, that's fine. I wish they weren't both five mana, though. Oh my god, Badger, you are out of control, dude. What's up, Badger, my dude? Thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs, Thank man. You. I don't think it's better than Thank Vivian, you. for sure. I don't want to play it over Domri, because then, like... Thank you. Like, these are the only two mutate cards we have. Like, maybe Grazer is not great. Rob loves Grazer. I don't think it's that great. What if I play two Luckas? Badger, thank you so much, thank dude. You. you are insane, man. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. I mean, this Thank makes it so Storm's Wrath only hits, like, this guy, and... I do think Storm's Wrath is pretty necessary in the deck, though. Thank you. Yeah, Badger's, Badger's an actual maniac sometimes. I'm gonna take out the other, the Vivian. And now we Thank have three Storm's Wrath, and... I don't like the Wrath because it does kill these. Like... Oh, it's so bad against them. Is there no better? 
Thank you. Do I have sweltering suns? All creatures. Thank you. I mean, maybe Flame Sweep is the trick. Like, it does actually... Alright, let's say Flame Sweep. Flame Sweep seems pretty relevant here. The problem is, like... Well, what single removal do we have? Like, we're blue, green, red. Like, what? there's not that much great single target removal, you know? Thank you! Thank you. Oh, Lava Coil is actually pretty good. I do like Lava Coil a lot, actually. Let's Thank go with you. Lava Coil. All right, three Lava Coils. Uh, wait, is my de is it not done? I didn't craft those things, did I? Oh, we're gonna cra we're getting get crafty. Okay, so we just traded. We added two more. We added more Planeswalker. We have four for your own for Paradise Druid, so. Adam with the 10 gifted subs, my dude. You guys are out of control. Oh my god. Adam, thank you so much, man. You guys are ridiculous. Thank I appreciate you. you guys immensely. Immensely. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. We do want to hit some lands for this Euro, but otherwise. Oh god, didn't mean to do thank that. You. Are we on the play? Dang it, we're not on the play. Oh my god, it's just gonna be mono thank yous for the next 15 minutes. Are we 1-1 one, one right now? You. We're 1-1, right? If any land, I'm just keeping. Oh, you're not. Sorry, Godzilla. Uh, it's Thank pronounced you. Gojira. Let's not be racist. Dang it. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to go Stomperino, pay two, Thank you. Paradiso. Man, this Gigantha is really like seeing some play here. Oh, Undrum Tuna with 10 gifted subs. Thank wow, you. you guys are actually out of control. When you have the Godzilla skins, does Arena play the Godzilla music? No, you know it doesn't. Don't. Thank don't. you. Oh, Migration Path is interesting. Is Migration Path better than Euro? Thank I don't know. <sighs> well. Thank you. Oh, oh, is this when it, when it mutates? Oh, baby. Oh, we're mutating. Thank you. We're mutating, bro, Tato. Thank you. Thank uh, you. over. Oh, God, that's weird. That was my first mutation interaction. That was pretty good. Swung for four, killed their thing. See, that's hard Thank to deal you. with. I don't know how to deal with that. Well, they have two cards in hand. Ooh, ooh. What's this casting cost? Four? Thank you. I'm pretty sure we just play this guy, right? Oh my god, so many thank yous. Under Tuna, you. RPG Badger, and uh Adam. Thank you so much, guys. Ridiculous. Thank you. Bounce it. I don't know. I don't. How does that? But how do I do that? Thank you. Exile the type of card you library creature can ensure. Exile target creature you control. Then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature with higher command cost. I mean, Ghidorah is just better, right? Like, Ghidorah just searches for uh, a non land permanent. Shut and up we can, and take my money. Can put it in the. I don't know why the government is giving me money, but I'm happy to share it all. Josh, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> oh, man. This has been a hell of a support train you guys have been providing me with. Um, what? Do I not? Oh, it's Mutation 6. Oh, that's stupid. I was wrong. Mistakes were made. Uh, yeah, but we can't get rid of their guy. It's Exile Target Creature you control. And I don't really want to exile this, I'll be honest with you. All right, we're just going to play this. 
Oh, you would have been nice. Um, you know, I will keep that on top because I think we're drawing that. No, we're not. We drew Vivian. Never mind. Either way, we're still playing this, so. Subs are one of the top five love languages. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, boy. a solid uh thinking a lot here what do i get with my fay of wishes oh they got inspired ultimatum Okay. I got rid of one of my things. And now... <coughs> they have a swamp, which doesn't let them cast Inspired Ultimatum. Neither... Uh, I guess the Temple Gardens produce the white. Um, one, two, three, four, five... Cast creature spells from somebody library, creature beast. When you cast the next creature spell this turn, so sorry for a creature run. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I want it all. Um, yeah, over. Put it on over. That's got hexproof now? That's wild. Put this onto the battlefield? Yes. I mean, it's not going to my hand. That seems just worse, right? How's that graveyard looking? Three cards, two of them are euros. That's pretty funny. Um, I don't think we attack. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. They're going to gain five. We're going to lose five. Well, I'll say no attacks here. Yeah, they can tap this thing, I guess. Instead, they play Niv-Mizzet. Now I wish I had the other Vivian Reed that could just kill this thing. Hexproof, flying reach. I can't even... I don't even, like, I don't even know what's on this card right now. When I was creature mutates, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. Can't Euro. I don't know if Euro is even great in this deck. I mean, like, this is cost 5, so the higher converted mana cost would be a 6 drop. Which is literally like Godzilla or King Kong, which is hilarious to say. <laughs> Answers. 
I mean, that's not to say Euro isn't just good as a three mana card that gives you a card, a land, and three life, right? Like, if you're gonna play Growth Spiral, like Euro just gives you an extra, um, an extra three life, and the potential to play him later as a creature. So, yeah, that's pretty good. But we do have Hexproof, I guess. So that's a thing. Interesting. Yeah, you can block that. Joke's on you, I don't even have creature spells. We're just gonna draw an island, so. Sorry, what? Oh, whenever it mutates? Ah, fuck. I thought it was whenever it dealt damage. I'm not smart. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So we can do this. I wish the converted mana cost was the total. Oh wow, we don't have enough cards in the graveyard. That's rough. Yeah, I thought it was sacrifice. I'm like, why is it exiled though? That's so weird that it's exiled. Okay, well, I guess we learned. Yeah, I thought we were gonna be able to play Euro because we were like, oh, let's get rid of three creatures that put seven in the in the yard. Stand by and watch. But here we are. Don't worry, I got it. And they bounce our guy, and now we're dead. All right, so this deck is not doing what we want it to do. I don't think I don't think the Planeswalkers are very good. I'll be honest with you. I think they're good in general. I don't think they're good in the deck because like you're playing them over creatures, which is just not. It's not what we want to be doing. Uh, all the cards get exiled because they're one creature at that point. I mean, henge is all right, I guess. I, yeah, we can do we can do two henges. It's also a nice little engine, a hen a henge, if you will. <coughs> um, I definitely just want more of these other these other creatures, like these other. I think these are just four ofs. Uh, that's sixty, right? We took two henges, one of each of those guys. Uh, Storm's Wrath is better without the Paradise. Yeah, I guess Storm's Wrath is actually better without, um... Do we have anything that deals 5 damage? <laughs> Command the Storm. Not really what we're looking for. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I also I'm also second guessing Euro, right? It's it uh, until you exile a non-land permanent card. Yeah, it's really sad that I don't think Euro is actually that great in this deck. Paradise Druid. I think we're just growth spiraling. Maybe I just take the Paradise Druid out too. But then, like, what are we? Are we even? No, we didn't try this because we don't know what it goes on to. Like, we only have Paradise Druid. <laughs> are you ready for some lunch? I'll send some... I did have lunch already. What are you... Jake, what are you proposing? Um... Jeez. I just... I, there's a lot of expensive cards in the deck. Like, so we have to have Grazer, and then we have to have this guy, right? I'm trying to minimize the number of things that we mutate onto. Oh my god, let every everyone, we'll all send you lunch.
is Clothis good here? That is a good question. You asked that earlier. I mean, how do we get lands in the graveyard? That was my question. I don't know if Clothis is very good here. I think Domri is just a better Clothis where we're just ramping. Yeah, you also don't want to hit... You don't want to hit Crassus with this. I don't think Crassus is good here. I mean, I'd, I'd rather play Genesis Ultimatum. Because if I have seven mana for Crassus, like, I'd rather just play Genesis Ultimatum and, and see what we're hitting. Also, Genesis Ultimatum is bad with Crassus, too. I mean, I guess you could put it in your hand, but... I think Goose is fine, but I don't know if it's better than Grazer. I guess it's fine. Again, like, we're trying to avoid exile cards until you exile a non-land permanent, right? So we're trying to, like, minimize the number of permanents we can hit. We already have eight here to, uh... All right, let's see if this is better. I like Goose more than Grazer, too, actually. Rob, Rob swears by the Grazer, though. Oh, what up, McGimp? Welcome back, Mike. Really appreciate you, buddy. All right, good games, good games. I feel like this deck has no direction. Wow. That's so rude, dude. Katie, why you gotta be like this? The direction is you, you ramp to your fat daddies, and then you play your fat daddies. You speak li you speak you speak lies. How much does it cost to buy a large singing group? Acquire? Okay, fine. How much does it cost to acquire a large singing group? <laughs> oh Jesus. No, multiple lies. All the time. Every day. I'll keep seven. Oh yeah, give me that. Give me that Ketria Triome, my dudes. The direction is straight ahead. Do we want to play this now in case they do some shenanigans? Probably not, right? My bank recently called me to let me know I had an outstanding balance. I said, thanks, I used to do gymnastics and hang up the phone. That was nice of them to say. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Just gotta play your lane, man. Oh, they took two. I would like to spiral my growths. Enter tapped. Come on down. Ooh, Paradise Druid. Take me down to the Paradise Druid. You can counter this? No? Okay. I'll pay two more. <clears throat> Spiral's good. I don't know if it's so good. Frank, what is your pet? I don't know, it's a little fox. Oh, we're both playing Yidaro. Only you have the trashy turtle art. I have the good Gojira art. Gojira, Gojira. When you talk like that. You guys know Gojira? The... I like the turtle art. Yeah, well. Way to be a nerd. Alright, so we don't have a land in hand. Both of these are going to draw us cards. I think it's probably better to cycle the... Uh, the Doom Inevitable. So then we can hit a land. I also have a... Wandering Monster. Oh, we hit a land. Oh, we hit two lands that come into play tapped. What a what a day. 
What a glorious day. I want to play this one first because it's the same thing and like this is better in hand. Bottom that guy. Now we got Gross Spiral. We can put another thing into play. I'm going to say no attacks. I'm going to end my turn. Well, they have three mana untapped. I'm, I don't, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of reluctant to, uh, to just run into their. Actually, now they tapped out. So, are we? Oh, we're in my end step. Okay, that makes sense then. I was like, wait, did they just do this in my main phase? They did not. They're not doing anything. One, two. I'm actually going to play this and then cycle this guy. Look at the value, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> That's what mutates for. Gets countered. It's not good. Oh boy, quench is such a shitbag spell. Yep, I can leave. They have five cards, we have two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If cycling ability of another non-land card causes you to draw a card instead of exile cards and you cycle a card, shares a card type with it. You may cast the card without paying its mana cost. Okay. Uh, put any number of permanent cards on the battlefield. And then we put this back into the hand. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Ender's Tapped is fine. Wait, what? Why didn't this go on the battlefield? Why didn't either of these go on the battlefield? Were they not selected? Are you serious? Come on, dude. Just come on. I don't know what this card is. Is it a sorcery? Okay, so you cycled it into a sorcery to let you draw four, sure. I didn't I thought I clicked both of these. I don't know why they're my That's weird. I mean like it's just not in, it's just not super obvious. Would have been real good having this on board. Yep, that would have been something. That was really frustrating. Okay, well, that's good. There's a button that says Submit X. Good to know. Um, I actually liked how... <clears throat> I, I like how that played out, so... <coughs> Is
Is there going to be a limited day? I don't know. Maybe. I might do some modern cube drafts. Um, this seems fine. This guy might not be as good anymore. I don't even know. Um, I have no idea if they're going to do private drafts in the next few months, but I know they are working on eight-person drafts. Is this... Oh, man. Everybody's playing teamer today. It's a teamer kind of day. God, Yudaro is, like... Super popular, apparently. Wow, this is just the same deck we were just playing. Until we took Euro out. Let's submit Temple. No, you you can just leave. Oh, she came back anyway. Just cast. Just play a 4-4. And next time we got to play this guy, make a 4-4. Oh, that seems good. I selected the Quartzer Crash and then it was unselected? What? Hold on, I'm watching. She has a card type with it. Okay, it looks like it has a blue outline. And then we put this back into the hand. It still has a... Oh, it has a blue... Oh, what the... F Why do they have blue outlines? Put any number of permanent cards on the battlefield. And then we put... Okay, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Is this one ever deals to a player? Hmm. Well. Hmm. Well. Hmm. <sighs> so we can just attack you. We can also just play Crasher and attack your face. Which I think is good. We're definitely paying two here, that's for sure. One way or another. One way or another. I'm actually going to play this, play Paradise Druid, because I feel like that's going to... Uh, yeah, okay. What? Is, I don't know what that did. Because if we hit any land, we get the Genesis Ultimatum, which is pretty sweet. I guess we didn't need to pay this, but I was... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Is this guy hard cast? No, definitely not. He dead. I mean, if you don't hit a land, it's sad. The land shall conquer you. You got it. They have no forests, which is pretty nice with Nissa. Oh, I see. Gonna find ya. I'm gonna get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya one way. Gonna give you the slip. You got it. Oh, God. Where's the justice? Well, let's see what you value more. Your, uh... Your Nyssa or your... Your Landy boy.
Vigilance, Haste, Flash. Enters Battlefield tapped. Draws a card. It does all the things. Oh, she dead. My strength fades. Oh, this is a forest. These are both forests. Never mind, I'm dumb. You guys are so smart. I don't even know if you said that, but I assume you will, because you guys always say stuff like that. You know, there's enough of you to be like, hey, stupid. Triomes are neat. They're my favorite type of tri my my favorite type of uh You know what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm just trying to untap so I can play my Genesis Ultimatum and not get it quenched. Cuz everybody loves quenching. Well, they're not quenching anything now. 1 2 3 4 5 Uh, Enters tapped is fine. <clears throat> this seems good. I, I'm I don't know. I'm not an expert. Let's fight Ghidorah and this guy because it's not going to attack anyway, and it's just fine. But now we get to like these two trampling in is actually insane. Look, we're gonna make four. We're gonna make a lot. A lot of dudes. Oh, it's oh, it's per trample. So like, oh, that's interesting. So we dealt like 13 trample damage. So we made a 13 for each one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like big chonker sets. Makes me happy. Same. Same. One way or Michael B. I'm gonna get you. I like big chonkers. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll keep it. I mean, even if this deck isn't tier one, let's be honest, it's probably not. It's still it's still tier fun, guys. Oh shit, they opted in response. Nobody knows they're playing against me because my name is Human Token eighty eight. I probably won't keep this. Wow me when I see those 13... They were 13, 12 tokens, Mark. Come on. From tier 1 to tier fun. That's my... It is her mod. I've actually heard her say that a lot. God, she says it like every day. Um... I'll just play you. Wow, the two great hinges? That's what you're gonna... I don't think we even attack here. I just feel like it's not worth it. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn we'll have six. Maybe. What up, two Exodus? Um... Alright, we'll attack. You know what? I'm bold. Turn. 
They always cycle the turtle. God, that's just their... That's their favorite. Oh, blast sound. Seems okay. Five dropper or four drop? Five drop, preferably. Well, that's not the same at all. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can play this. Great Henge costs seven. It's a lot still. Next turn, we can Genesis Ultimate. I'm presuming this lives. So now I'm going to be a little less risk. risk uh, I'm going to be a little more risk averse, let's say. That's just fine. <clears throat> nope. Deep down, aren't we all just cycling a turtle? <laughs> it's true. Thankfully, most of the cards in our deck are permanents. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, like all of these, enter tapped, and got him. Man, this unpredictable Cyclone deck has been all everywhere, but I don't think they've won once. Oh, good game. <laughs> Are we like... I don't know what our record is. I wish there was a way to tell. Like, there's no way to, like, tell your record, dude. I think we're like 4-2? Does that sound right? Someone go through the entire VOD and figure out if we won or lost. How many times? Either way. You wanna play one more? I think I, I like this configuration so far. If we could, if this is like Hearthstone Mulligans, where I could be like, I'll put one of these two back, that'd be great. But the, I mean, like, it's pretty rough. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, that seems better. Maybe no, it doesn't. It seems worse. But like, we do have a four drop and we have a Domri. I'll keep it because we're probably on the draw, right? That's got to be correct. I'm, I'm shipping this because I think we can actually cast this guy into Great Henge pretty easily. Look at this what's look at this lava background. This is really intricate. Alright, land into Domri into So this is gonna cost seven, eight, nine. It's gonna cost five less if we have this guy in Domri out. Seven, eight, nine. It costs four. Yeah, right, that'd be that'd be great if we could do that.
Okay, we got old Ghidorah. This is four mana. We can cast that next turn. Add two. Draw a card. We can't draw a card yet. Dang it. Oh shit, they just main phased out. They just they just ran out an octopus. They're gonna mutate onto that thing. This battleground contains several safety code violations. The thing about this battleground is that you really want to have the high ground. Oh shit, I just broke this. Oh man. What does this do? Destroy a no You son of a biscuit. You paid three mana for that? That card's so good. They just paid the black off of the Zagoth Triumph in their five color deck? Sure. Sure. You were the chosen one! It's true. Well, that's a... That's a Brokus, all right. Let's cast you naturally. Enter you tapped. Uh, you're just attacking face. I mean, they could put octopus on there. I don't think we block, right? Like, we got Great Henge next turn. I guess that doesn't do much, though. They also have six cards in hand. We have two. I'll just take it. How's the new set? Pretty all right. I'm enjoying it a lot. I still think mutate is super weird. Yeah, this is what we were. This is the only thing we cared about. Is I'm putting octopus on this. Octopus is such a cheap. I, I don't know why it doesn't show you both cards. Like that's why because I want to see the octopus view mutations. Okay, I guess we do. Two is very cheap. Fascinating. This costs two. I 
I'm pretty sure we're just going to fight here. I think theirs is a lot better than ours at this particular point. Land. <clears throat> End of the turn. Yep. It's pretty good, especially with the Brokos in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, ideally, we just draw. Uh, what's it called? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they got the mana for it. Oh, they don't have two green. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, their mana base is rough. They don't have two green to mutate. Yeah, we're gaining two free, obviously, every turn for the rest of the game. Um, obviously, ultimatum would be the best. Come at me, bro, Coast. You got five mana. Here. T -t -t Today, Junior. Whenever this mutates, return a permanent from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty good. Man, I wish Lava Coil was an instant right now. Because then I could target their Hexproof creature. Just can't. Okay. Octopi. Pass. Ah, good island. How nice. Oh, Hexproof is so good, dude. Oh, that's frustrating. Wow. That's really brutal. Yep, just gonna end the turn. Wish we could draw a creature. Do you think it's worth dumping 100 and for some card? That's up to you. That's totally up to you. Like, I can't say if, the, if you're gonna get the value out of that. Right? Like, I don't think you're going to be able to build many constructed desks for, for only 100 bucks is the problem, because there's so many sets. Um, because you can only open, you're going to have to open packs to get wild cards, but you're going to have to open packs from, like, multiple different sets to get the rares you want. So it's totally up to you. That's good. Shut up and take my money. Mother of God. Hey, I forgot to ask if you got that Spider-Man draw. Yeah, I totally did. Adam, it's awesome, dude. It's super sweet. It's actually in really good condition, surprisingly. I actually think it's awesome, dude. It's very tall, though, so it doesn't fit on, like, a traditional shelf, unfortunately. What is this thing? Oh, this is the Abzan one. I guess they're just playing all of the the elemental nightmare horror creatures. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate, but I don't think I can. Came out of someone's garage. <coughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. Yes, you got it. Well, they don't draw a card, I guess, so they only have five cards in hand. No, I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. You know what? Maybe we got something here. Dang it. Yeah, we got a 7-7. Seven, seven. They got a... We're at 16. It's not the worst. I mean, Brokos can mutate onto any of these guys, which is pretty insane, because then they trigger their mutate abilities. This deck is actually nice. This is a sweet list. Save paradise, put up a parking lot. <laughs> cool. This deck looks ridiculous, dude. It's just doing all the fucking things.
I wish we didn't play one more because now I feel worse about myself. Uh, I was neither given deck nor cards. Uh, this is the MTG uh, Arena Early Access Streamer event. I guess you're given the cards, but I mean, not by anyone other than like wizards. So we are at five. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Five is going here. Now one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Five is going here. It leaves us with four. That's not a lot. What I mean is, yeah, I built every one of the decks I've played so far. Ghidorah, Ghidorah. Um, so we can play this untapped, play Domri, and play Lava Coil. That seems decent. <clears throat> oh, Domri, when you dunk like... Did I have counter spells in this deck? I can't even imagine that. That seems like it'd be weird. Because it mutates, it gets to kill my thing. That's fucking insane, dude. Way to draw three C Dasher octopuses, I guess. Cool. What the fuck is Dreamtail Heron? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Really? That's interesting. Either way, thank you guys for watching. I think the deck was still pretty fun. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Patreon.com slash franklapore. Uh, Mandatraders.com. 20% off the first three months of any subscription. with link and promo code down below. And coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. If you guys are in the chat right now, go check out my article that went up today about the blue-black flash deck we played earlier. Leave a comment in the article. Slam the like button. Do what you gotta do. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.